doing then do a light like, speak or you didn't talk about No, no, no. No light speak. No light speak. No. I am Patrick Cullinan and this is uh, Katharina Sophagalus. Uh, I'm doing a demonstration here outside the Royal Court of Injustice from the 1st of October to the 4th of October and uh, this young woman came into the court and told me that they were taking her girl of five years of age from her and giving her to a paedophile father who had abused her. Now, this, this uh, girl will explain what, what actually went on. Well, I left my husband um, because I saw signs of abuse from my daughter. She was only two and a half and her and Libby were living in Cyprus. Um, unfortunately, I fought the government over there for three and a half years to stay away from her. And Unfortunately, the government covered it up and then that's when I fled because me and my daughter are British to the UK for safety and to keep her away from that abuse. Unfortunately, he did the hate convention through this court to be able to get my daughter back, lying about her origins and everything else and through, unfortunately, a judge called Judge um, Arthur who had not viewed, I had every evidence possible of my daughter's sexual abuse from my uh, ex-husband. They have not viewed that and have now taken my daughter back to him and she is in Cyprus and I am in fear of her life and of further abuse from my ex-husband. Uh, you, you said that Lord jo or, uh, Judge Parker, Lord Justice Tor, Lord Justice Longmore, Lord Justice McComb, and Lady Justice Black were involved in this. Yes, um, Judge Parker was first involved in the case back in November yet? last year. Yes. But then I uh, did everything possible to appeal the case for my daughter not to be sent back. Um, the other judges were the appeal judges who then gave me, granted me the appeal and at the same time used the appeal. Um, I was returned with my daughter back in February this year on the 27th, which I myself represented myself in court in Cyprus uh, with all the evidence in hand, but and to the police and to the courts, but unfortunately they didn't want to know. And to the point where my life and my daughter's life were in danger, which again was the second time I fled back to the UK where I had I have a stable environment for my daughter, but then again we ended up in the same court where my ex-husband did an application after I had all evidence and non-molestation orders, he did step orders for my daughter to leave the UK and this court decided my daughter must be taken away from me. Now you've had uh, reports done on the, 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 the girl was, five year old girl was interviewed yes. by the social services yes. and you've got reports stating that the girl was not safe with the father. Yes, clearly stating. I also have reports of AB interviews with the police, which this court didn't even want to look at. Cascus did, Cascus did a report. We have Cascus reports, we have NSPCC reports. Um, everything clearly stating that if she was under her father's authority, uh, any presence of her father, she would be danger of more sexual abuse but then this for some reason was ignored I don't know if it's political or wherever it could be and they decided to send her back to the And why would all these judges go against all of this uh, all of the evidence and all the reports they didn't want to even view them they decided that uh, because of the hate that they should go back to the country to be dealt with but unfortunately Cyprus is a country very male dominant and do not want to deal with anything like that. So, in no. a way, this child has been thrown away. I have actually read the report myself, and there is never anything. Finger was never pointed at you that you would have to look look after the, the child, and she was best with you. But now they've, they've actually given her now to a to a father who is abusing her. Um, I I suffered domestic violence with my child. Before. Six years, before, obviously my child's five, I suffered six years with 
with my ex-husband and he's never been a good father uh, unfortunately and um, the fact that, that I've always looked after my daughter she's always been under my care I've always had full custody of her so there is not even a reason why they should be taking her from me just like that um, they, they didn't even let her take her belonging to her they literally took her like an alien and took her to another country like that right would this have happened, do you think, if you had a uh, trial by jury? No, definitely not. If it was tried by jury, my daughter would still be. Unfortunately, these judges don't see the perspective of a child's point of view, or the innocent point of view. Do they know what evidence is? I don't think so. I don't think they want to see it because it takes too much time. They have a timeline when they want to go home, so unfortunately not. And why would, why would this? Why would they put a five-year-old girl who was looked after and cared for by a good mother? You can see that, I can see that in you. And, and put her with, with a father who was abusing her. I still don't comprehend why. There's so many cases out there that unfortunately are covered and I think this is one of the case. But because unfortunately my ex-husband is not well known, this is one of the stories that you do not hear out in the public. Now I also know of the Vicky Hay case and this is a, a typical example of, of what happened to uh, Vicky Hay and her girl. And it happened here behind, behind us as well. I mean I've, I've fought for my daughter now four years for this. I've even, uh, my ex-husband managed to take me to prison because of this. Which I'm, we're talking about a person that I've never even been in the wrong side, wrong side of the law. But unfortunately, this is the justice mm. that we get. Innocent people suffer. Innocent. Not just, not me. Most of all, the little children. Right. So you also told me that you were assaulted <coughs> by your husband, and it was it was actually witnessed by a police officer. Yes. Not in Cyprus. Inside. The, yeah, this is in Cyprus, right? Yes. Um, he tried to um, pull my daughter from her ribs from me when she didn't want to go to him. And this is talking about inside the police station. The policeman was standing right there. And then when I told him to back away, he hit me and dislocated my shoulder. And then all this was covered up. So, uh, hospital reports and the policeman said it never happened. And I was attacked by social services over there as well because. I tried to keep my daughter safe from him having unsupervised visits with her. Yet again, because it would all uncover their secrets, they had to cover it up and keep it silent. So, what I've, what I've learned here now is uh, the judges in, in the family court and the judges in the bankruptcy and throughout the court, the court of appeal, they're all corrupt. We have got to restore the rule of law in these courts. Magna Carta 1215 guarantees you and me and all of these people trial by jury. We have got to challenge the jurisdiction of these people. These people are evil. They are breaking the law. Look at where your little girl is now. My, I was robbed of a four bedroom house by 13 judges here behind us. And this is what's going on. All because that they've hijacked the rule of law for their own enrichment and for their own sick dealings. We don't know what it's, what it's all about. We don't know why they've taken a five-year-old girl from a perfect mother and given her to a, a father who was abusing her. What is behind it? There's a lot more than we'll ever know. Exactly. But we know they've done it. Only if we keep united, there's a lot more stories out there of people that are having going through the same thing. If people keep united, we will be able to find out why one day maybe we might get justice. Who knows? We have got to use the internet to expose these people and take them on. Because these are corrupt and they are evil. They know nothing whatsoever about due process or justice for the people. They are as, as guilty as the people do it. Like my ex-husband is sexually abusing my daughter, these people that are giving my daughter to him are as guilty. They're enabling it. Yes. They're enabling this to happen. And it's got to stop.
and the people have got to put a stop to it. We have the law, not these people. And we've got guaranteed rights, you've got guaranteed rights, the trial by jury on the Magna Carta 1215. And if they've denied you that, that is crime in itself, irrespective of what they're after doing to your little girl of five. I feel sorry for you and thank you. We'll get it on the internet. Thank you. I'm <laughs>